I had this old 5 volt fan laying around and I thought why not automate it? So that's what we're going to do in this video. This video was made using the following service, Easy EDA, an easier EDA experience. Try it out yourself at easyeda.com. So to start off this project we will need the following components. A breadboard, a Arduino I chose for the Uno, a 10k potentiometer, a BC547 transistor, which I later switched for the BD137, we will also need a LCD display, a temperature and humidity sensor, a 220 ohm resistor, a lot of breadboard cables and of course the fan. Okay so now it's time to start on the wiring. You can find the full wiring schematic in the link in the description. I will be fast forwarding all the wiring parts because there is no point in watching me do all the wiring. The schematic will explain the wiring a lot better and if you still don't understand how to connect the LCD then feel free to ask. Once the LCD is wired up, it's time to add the sensor. After the sensor had been wired, I tested the circuit using the code which is also given in the description. I cut my USB cable in half so I have one end that goes into the USB port and the other will go into my fan. I stripped the wires and dinned them after. Okay, so now it's time to add the NPN transistor in order to switch the fan. This can't be done using the Arduino since the Arduino can't handle this amount of current. That's why we add the NPN transistor. Not sure how to connect it? Don't worry. You will also find the transistor in the schematic. Now it's time to connect the cables to the breadboard and our circuit should be done. But of course, nothing works as you want the first time. After a lot of measuring and testing, and also burning my fingers due to overheat a transistor, I went and checked the data sheet of the transistor and found out that the BC547 can't handle these amounts of current. That's why I swapped the original BC547 for a BD137 which is capable of handling a lot more current. Once that was done I did my final tests and the whole circuit works, which means our project is finally done! I hope you all enjoyed this video, if so don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.